Welcome back to the show. It is still Popcorn 10 here on Pop Central TV in partnership with Film One and Film House in the West. Today on my set, I have got literally one of the most beautiful actresses that we have in this country. TV host, model, and I mean, she's into charity and like everything in between. Ladies and gentlemen, they're amazing. They're shining. Shine, Rosemary. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I bet I bet that's how you wine all your guests. No, I know they I wine. I have literally the most beautiful in the <laughs> oh, let, Let's go back and watch with the other actresses. Ah! That's what you told them too, right? No, 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 no really, no really, no really. This is special because I mean it. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Um I'm feeling pretty Not me thinking you're gonna say I'm blessed. Um, because I, like I feel like that's the energy you come with. I'm oh, overly blessed. Really blessed. Yeah. I think um, right now I cannot explain. I just feel good and I feel happy today. And I think we're alive. We're happy. I love and, it. You know, I love we should it. be grateful. Love for that. your fit, by the way. Like the entire Ankara thing going on. Yes, you know, yes, your lion. Yes. Ha it looks like the lion. It's a jaguar. Oh yeah. It's a jaguar. Yeah. I love wild cats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Are, are we safe? Yes. We're safe. For now. For it's now. It's like, you know, there's, there's something my mom says. She says, um, some people come into your life, mm. um, you know, as a cat. <laughs> Hana be a kabusu. Okay. Before you know it, they've turned into a tiger. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get it. I go. Mm -hmm, <laughs> so. I get it. Are you Igbo, though? Yeah, yeah, I'm Igbo. Really? Your dad is uh -uh. Igbo? Your mom's Igbo? Well, my dad is um, Canadian and my mom is Igbo from Imo State. Or okay. Local so local are you, at this point in time, can we say you're a Nigerian? I mean, I'm a Nigerian. I got a Nigerian passport. I got Amazing. a Canadian passport. Amazing. I'm, I'm both. I, I am. This is, this is the part where people start saying, well, do you want to marry so that, you know, passport people? Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, it's so good to have you on the show. Thank you for coming. You know, Perfect. after so many, so many. <laughs> after so many ups and downs, here we but are. Yeah, here we are, yes. Yeah. Um, where do we even start from? There's so much to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, we've, we, we had a great chat, you know, before we came on here to record, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Nollywood, what has the experience been like for you so far, you know? So here's the first thing I want to talk about with mm -hmm. Nollywood. Mm -hmm. I started acting from like as young as I can remember, maybe like seven, eight. I okay. remember my mom would take my sisters and my brother and yeah. we would go to castings mm -hmm. for adverts. And But I think when my sister and I were at like 12, my sister was 12 and I was like 10, mm -hmm. told my older sister, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we would, we started this show, or I think she was a bit older, we're a bit older. It was called Teeny Vision and then we did Teenage Fantasy, but these were all mm -hmm. like smaller scale productions. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, in 2015, we then um, we starred in our first cinema film called Lunchtime Heroes. Yeah, of course, 2015. I remember by, that. Um, Shei Baba Tope yeah. with Diana Yukini. Yeah, yeah. It was such, um, it was such a, it was such a yeah. hit at the time. It was. It was a major hit. It was, hit. Mm -hmm. and I think for us, we were really happy to have you know accomplished that and done that as we were really young and all mm -hmm. that. And then I had to kind of. Focus, and then I did a few productions with like seven series and a few great productions as mm. well. But I kind of had to also try to focus on school because I was in high school as well. Mm -hmm. We're both in high school, mm -hmm. and then I finished high school, mm -hmm. and I then came back into the acting industry, mm -hmm. and I was going for auditions mm -hmm. and you know crazy stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I, mm, the roles were not coming. Mm -hmm. You know, I was doing a few extras here and there, okay. but roles were not coming. It wasn't enough to like stand on your feet yeah it wasn't doing that well so then i started modeling yeah so uto started modeling then mm -hmm. i started modeling with uto mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden everybody thinks i'm a model i'm yeah. like hold up yeah wait a damn minute <laughs> what do you mean by that because now it's like i remember when i then um the modeling started kicking off mm. and then people were like oh can you yeah. act Ooh, but i'm like no okay. i'm an actor mm. you know and then I started getting a couple of roles and stuff mm. like that and then people started seeing okay Shan is an actor you mm. know and stuff like that and I remember I'd go to some sets and people would be like oh Shine are you acting now? Oh you're the model it's crazy right like you I know, mean it's, you know, you, you're it's doing like, something mm -hmm. but then you decide to do some other thing and then, and then people that's what think you're that recognized that's for. what you're known for. Yeah yeah. Crazy but so, well, don't you think that it kind of opened the way for the the acting it, it was a right decision that, that you made you know at the time i mean i don't regret it at all mm. i don't think i would have sat home for almost three years doing nothing and mm. waiting for people to call me back i'm a workaholic mm -hmm. i'm 
Okay, let's rephrase that. <laughs> <laughs> I so when I'm at home, I I like a clean space, mm. but I'm lazy. Okay, mm. I don't like to cook. Mm. I don't like to stress myself so out. So you're at one home. of those trophy wives. That you just want to be a trophy wife. Hey, let's I, not I, cook. I'm, let's I, not clean. I, I don't cook. I don't clean. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna. I'm some not gonna cardio do. vibe. Uh, well, I, what what I do love, I can I can work myself out till I fall sick as mm. long as it's actual work yeah. and entertainment that I enjoy. But Amazing. when we get home, I become a little lazy. I'm not gonna lie, mom. I'm mm. not gonna lie on TV. Amazing. So um, apart from from acting, when you're not acting, mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing? When you're not in charity as well, when you're not giving by society, what are you doing? Right now, um, I'm I'm gonna start directing. I'm gonna start directing my stuff. Um, I'm gonna, I'm love gonna it! Love that energy though. A couple of short documentaries and mm. I'm gonna start directing myself. That's what I do want to start doing. Mm. But when I'm not in the limelight of entertainment, mm. um, I don't like to party. You don't like to party? I party politically because there, there are reasons. It's either yeah, a course. friend of mine is yeah. opening a club. Like there's yeah. always an intent or my sister or you, is performing. Or you want to meet somebody or there. Or hoping to meet people at this event. Yeah. It's never because ah, I want to go out, you know? So for me, if I want to enjoy myself, I just binge watch stuff with my dog in my room alone. Or I go to the cinema. Boring. Or I go to the cinema on a Tuesday afternoon. You know, okay. or I, I just you know the days already. Why Tuesday though? What? Why Tuesday? What Why Tuesday? going on a Tuesday? Because no, everyone's gonna be in work. Mm. No one's gonna be at the cinema on a Tuesday morning. It's mm. just, it's just gonna be me and my popcorn. Uh, do you think that you do you think this is a weird thing to to do? Do you think it's weird? Well, I think it's weird. Just feel it's different. I think it's perfectly normal. Okay. I think that I enjoy it, and that's all that matters. Amazing, love it. I mean, there's, there's so much talk about Shine. At yeah. this point, I'm just like, yo, hold up, wait a minute. Um, uh, I, I know that your film just um, came up now on Showmax, mm -hmm. The Flossom, right? Yeah. And we're literally, I think, almost halfway through it already. Yeah. And it's been doing so well already. Yeah. So talk to us about that role, that role in, in, in the film and how you were able to execute it properly. Why are you smiling though? What, I'm so, why are you so happy. Excited? When, when we start talking about Flossom, I'm so happy because mm. when we started filming Flossom, mm -hmm. uh, Osas, who mm. is such a great person, she reached out to me to send a monologue mm. to um, Uncle Tola for the role. Mm. And that wasn't the role I auditioned for. I auditioned for a separate role. And I did so well, mm. like he said. Mm. I doubted myself still, even while sending it, but I had a deadline to mm -hmm. sending the monologue. And she said, well, they want to put you in something a little more permanent. Mm. So the initial role I auditioned for was just like one thing. or two scenes. Mm -hmm. But then afterwards, uh, they then casted me for one mm. of the main characters as a personal mm. assistant, mm. Or, you know, and it was it was great. Mm -hmm. Filming was awesome. You know, Uncle Tola Odunsi, he killed this. Mm -hmm. All the amazing he did, he did. actresses. You all killed it, actually. It was so good. Oh, you did so good. It's still showing. Mm -hmm. Ini, yeah. Sharon, yeah. Bisola. Bisola, no way. Like, you know, Badge. And there's so many great actors yeah. in this film. And yeah. we, we, we really just came together and mm. created magic. It's, I'm it's, so grateful. It's the fact that, I mean, you had to work with these people who've been in the industry longer than you mm -hmm. have been, right? Mm -hmm. Was, I mean, is, is there usually some, some of like uh, intimidation, you know, at some, at some point in time? Intimidation? Do you feel like, okay. Am I sure I'm doing this right? You know. The very first day I came on set, I remember walking into a room with all four lead actresses, mm. and I was like, "Wow." Like, What's going on? Oh. Wow. I was a little, mm -hmm. a little to myself, but they were so great. You yeah. know, like they were having conversations, mm. we were laughing, we we're all just gisting, mm. and they made it such a conducive environment yeah. for everyone. Yeah. And I love and appreciate all of yeah. them. I think. Yeah. They're people that you see on screen and you love them and when you meet them in person, they're greater in person. Yeah, yeah, amazing. I remember that even at the premiere day, right? Sharon was like, oh my baby. You know, when yeah. I mentioned Sharon, she's like, oh, okay, okay, this is good. This yeah, is good. Yeah. But guys, I have to go on a break now. Quick one, we'll be back from this break. More conversations right here on Flick Chat with Shine Rosemond here on Popcorn Tense. Mwah.